Hello and welcome uh, to the K-Scope podcast number 83, dedicated in the main to Blackfield Aviv Geffen and Stephen Wilson's project Blackfield 5 is out now. And before we hear from Aviv, this is entitled Family Man. Thomas Z on drums, Eran Mietelman on keys, string arrangements by the London Session Orchestra, guitars, vocals and keyboards, Stephen Wilson and Aviv Geffen. Blackfield 5 is out now. Alan Parsons, the legendary producer, engineer and musician working on some of the tracks, an album which contains 13 linked songs that form a flowing 45-minute ocean-themed song cycle. To find out more, I caught up with Aviv for a cup of coffee in London recently. Five albums is quite a fair old body of work for any act, but especially one that's essentially a side project uh, for both of you. Is there an aesthetic that kind of combines them all together, do you think, or is this a, a departure? Uh, we both know now that it exists only with us two working on it, and it was great to, to work with a uh, with uh, 
with Parsons and mm. uh, and Stephen together in the studio. For me, as a musician, it's like a like a it's like a dream, you know, yeah. to have those uh, genius of, of sound like uh, Alan and Stephen working on, on songs that I, that I wrote. It, our idols was Jeff Lynne, uh, uh, Parsons, of course, uh, the Carpenters. Mm. So he one of those you know people that we we. We know we just adore them, and uh, when he said yes, uh, uh, I'll do some work with Blackfield. For us, it's like perfect, you know. Yeah. And he's really like an old school uh, yeah. engineer. He, we want to work with with a with desk, not to go yeah. through the computers without uh, any compression. Uh, he said, "Aviv, if you can't uh, play this song from the start <laughs> till the end, so fuck off." Yeah. Which is really nice to to hear, you know, or the copy paste uh, world. He's against that, and it, it's 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 brilliant. There's a, there's a particularly great photograph from the the, the teaser video of right. Alan Parsons sitting. I mean, he's a big, imposing figure, and he? you're, <laughs> so, you're sort of like sitting there looking really thoughtful. Um, Alan's sitting at the desk, but Stephen's kind of leaning over. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. No, I think Stephen wants to steal some tricks from Alan. <laughs> right. Sound tricks. Uh, I never was such a big fan of uh, uh, surround sound and stuff. But Stephen is like, like was like a student there. He, like uh, he was watching, observing Alan, every button he was pressing, which is nice, you know. Yeah, I saw Stephen like a, 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 a boy.
which one was the squeaky wheel which nearly didn't make it, which was the one that made you pull your hair out? Um, there's many songs that was dropped uh, from the album because Stephen believed it was too cheesy or too schmaltzy. Uh, but I, yeah, after all, I, I'm, 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 I'm half Russian, you know, <laughs> so I got those DNA. Uh, I start with the, uh, with the demos and uh, Stephen came to my place and listened to the, the songs and he said he wanted to, uh, to be back, like in a full force and to be like a full partner and to make it uh, like the first and second album, like a duo. So uh, it's nice to have him back. Uh, Stephen believes it's the, the best album we ever made together. To, to Cynical bastard, but you're late from your plate. So, how, how was your ride? snip of Lonely Soul uh, there by Blackfield Tease video to come in the following weeks. Before that you heard How Was Your Ride and before that from 44 to 48 and you can check out the new lyric video to that on the Kscope website or on YouTube kscopemusic.com forward slash bf and Stephen Wilson has said of that song from 44 to 48 a quote even though I don't really write songs with specific projects in mind as soon as I wrote this one I knew it was for Blackfield from 44 to 48 is a song about growing older and letting go of dreams unquote my thanks to Aviv for his time Blackfield 5 is out on K-Scope right now.
some news. No Sound have released two new music videos for the tracks Scintilla and Love Is Forever, taken from their fifth and incredibly emotionally complex album, also called Scintilla. Now, Love Is Forever is an intimate piano performance from the main man, Giancarlo Era. Let's hear a little bit of that now. Kscope website to watch those videos kscopemusic.com forward slash no sound and the next Kscope podcast at number 84 we'll be hearing from Richard Barbieri an interview and tracks from his new album Planets and Persona which is out next week let's hear a little bit of Newfoundland playing live in March in Birmingham, Exeter and London. For all the details, kscopemusic.com forward slash RB. Next up then, from the album Songs from the Haunted South, Old Fire and their cover of Shearwater's track Helix. This has been captured in a new heartbreaking video set in an icy landscape of loss directed by Juanma Carrillo. Uh, check it out on the Kscope website, kscopemusic.com forward slash OF or the Kscope YouTube channel. This is Old Fire with Helix.
fire from the album songs from the haunted south that is their take on shearwater's track helix kscope music.com forward slash of and songs from the haunted south will be available as a vinyl lp in may some live dates for you anathema have confirmed an appearance at download festival at the 9th to the 11th of june festival tickets are now available via ticketmaster.co.uk and they've added a couple of irish dates the 23rd of september in belfast at limelight 2 then the day after the 24th of september dublin at the academy tickets from ticketmaster's irish site ticketmaster.ie of course they recorded some of the new album in Donegal. Tesseract have been added to the Arctangent Festival in Bristol. That runs from the 17th to the 19th of August. Arctangent.co.uk for tickets for that. Right, Billy Reeves is signing off. Thanks for your company. I'll be back with K Scope Podcast 84, the Richard Barbieri special next time. But I'm going to leave you with this. The New Beginning by Lunatic Soul from the debut album. Reason being is that Marius Dudar from Lunatic Soul and Riverside has started to tease details of the next Lunatic Soul album, which will be his fifth coming out later this year. It's going to be called Fractured, and he describes the new album as dark, melancholic trance with more electronics and more powerful sounds and a symphonic orchestra. There's a little a beginner's guide to Lunatic Soul on Team Rocks, a website at the moment. And of course, there's always kscopemusic.com forward slash LS for more information on the act. So I'll finish with this Lunatic Soul from the first album. This is called The New Beginning. See you soon. Ta-da. Mm-hmm.